midwinter may mean long nights and cold days, but don't let the winter blahs get in the way of good shop time. The new February 2013 print issue of Woodworker's Journal will be on its way to your mailbox shortly, and it should keep you plenty busy. On the project side of our content this time, Shandor Natsalansi took some design cues from the traveling chests of yesteryear to build a four-drawer steamer trunk dresser. It's made of Baltic and mahogany plywood, accented with oak slats, antique brass hardware, and leather handles. It's both a striking and practical piece of storage furniture. Speaking of practical, Rob Johnstone builds an Art Deco style bar stool from pine and bird's eye maple. It'll give you a chance to do a little pattern routing, plus tune up your skills with loose tenon joinery. See Rob in action building it using Festool's new Domino XL machine in his More on the Web video in this issue. If you don't have a big shop or a full complement of stationary machinery, there's still a lot you can do project-wise in a little space with some benchtop power tools. We're kicking off a new series this year called Small Shop Journal. In this issue, learn to build a handsome arts and crafts bookcase without cutting any corners and using a modest collection of tools. Chris Marshall shares an overview of the construction process in his More on the Web video. Barry Chattel, a reader from Canada, explains his methods for making perfect mitered cabinet doors in this issue too. And Charles Mack, another Canadian reader, shares a dozen practical ways to put magnets to better use in the shop. Ernie Conover is back as always as our wood turning expert, and this time he discusses the ins and outs of scroll chucks. Watch his scroll chuck video as yet another brand new more on the web offering. Circular saw blades are pretty ubiquitous in a modern wood shop, but readers often write in with questions about how to choose and care for them. In our today's shop department, Chris Marshall has taken your blade questions and posed them to several leading blade manufacturers. They've got some practical advice that should be beneficial for all of us. In other tool news, Rob Johnstone recently got a sneak peek at Powermatic's brand new woodworking drill press. He got an up close and personal tour of this impressive new machine and he'll tell you all about it in an exclusive tool preview. Have you ever wondered what's the best brush to use for finishing your projects? Who better to answer than our finishing expert, Michael Dresner? He'll help you understand all that brush jargon and make better choices for your finishes in this issue's Finishing Thoughts. And all of your other favorite departments are back as always. A fresh batch of readers tricks, a new stumpers tool, the latest tool and supply offerings and what's in store, and letters about our past issues. So, put another log on the wood stove fire and warm up your winter with some good reading and great projects. It's all coming your way soon in the new February 2013 print issue, or you can order a copy at woodworkersjournal.com.